everybody, want to wheeze them here. It is, I think, the 19th of May, somewhere around there. Uh, that is actually correct. Uh, I remember now. Uh, Ten days until the walkthrough king. My nephew's out of school, so that's how I remember. But what I've got here is kind of a special video. I don't know that I've gotten to even showcase uh, Horde of Wind and Trigger Happy to you. Had them for quite a while. Um, I think they were like intros 43 somewhere in there. And then this past weekend they had another sale finally 50% off. I was able to pick up the last two Eruptor and Gilgrunt. Now these are Eons Elite. This is the complete set. Uh, I actually have an extra Terrafin out of the packaging because he's awesome. And I needed one for both paths. And I didn't even wait for the sale price on that. But... $24.99 is the price. They're only at GameStop. A lot of people say the $24.99 is too high. Personally, I think $19 would have been the better mark. When you actually have these in your hand and you take a look at what they've done with him, uh, the custom paint on the figures, the packaging, uh, if you were to actually pull them out of the holographic box, you still have an awesome display case. There is the justification for the higher price, in my opinion. I think they would have sold a lot more at 19 At 24 the great thing is they've pretty much always been in stock. Uh, some people, obviously, when they go half off, that is the time to pick them up. That's basically $12.49 a piece. Uh, that's just slightly more. It's kind of light core pricing, if you will, slightly more than your core characters at $9.99, but uh, a little bit lower than like your special characters, Trap Masters, Swappers, Giants, etc. So the main draw, of course, past the collectability, or hey, this is my favorite character, is just three times more powerful. I have done the math. I'm wrapping up the uh, upgrades with the, the remaining four but uh, they are quite beastly i'm hoping that these stats remain the same three times more powerful in the next installment as well as future installments of the game but uh, they are fantastic again the way these came out the first two released uh, would have been spyro from the magic element chop chop from the undead elements uh, up next terrafin and stealth elf which those are the two i just didn't even wait for a sale price on uh, just shelled out 75 bucks for three figures, but uh, I was pretty excited. Again, Stealth Hill, she's kind of my go-to gal for the speed runs and stuff. Terrafin, uh, obviously, I needed uh, both paths. Whirlwind and Trigger Happy, I waited for the sale prices. I've introduced them. I don't think that I ever showcased them here on the pool table. And then, like I said, uh, Gilgrunt and Eruptor were the final two releases. They had been out for quite some time now, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the sale, and finally came, so that's why I picked them up this week. And they've been introduced. I'm starting the upgrades there already. Then we'll come back, hit Whirlwind and Trigger Happy. But I want to go through and just showcase all of these for you. The packaging, again, is just fantastic. The holographic boxes. Uh, the figures themselves look great. Uh, this is Whirlwind, obviously, and again, they promote them down there. Uh, this will be relatively quick. I'm not going to do super detailed for you. Uh, right there is Terrafin. Again, this is, I guess, number one or two, depending on how you look at it. Uh, up next, I go alphabetically by element. That's just the way I do things. Uh, this is Eruptor from the Fire Element. I don't think the camera's really doing justice. He looks amazing. Uh, very, very impressed with the way he came out. Uh, Life Element is up next. Of course, that is Miss Stealth Elf. I believe I may have unboxed her magic element is going to be spyro again you've kind of got the holographic top you've got that uh, when you have these out of the packaging which i have actually showcased some unboxings of some of them uh, here comes elite trigger happy he also looks very good uh, what you see when you open them up is they have this little special diorama case and they kind of have like the elemental color-coded design if you will shop shop has been loose many times uh, I feel like I might have a second of another of these, but here's Gilgrunt, uh, the most recent edition, if you will, because I grabbed Eruptor first. Uh, he just looks fantastic, but you get a feel for them. What I want to do now, and part of me hates doing this just because it's going to take time, but I'm going to kill the camera. I'm going to come in, not literally kill it, but turn the power off, you know. Uh, I'm going to kill the camera. We actually had to bring the camera way up uh, to cover all eight awesome things here but what i'm gonna do is pull the backs out uh, for example here with whirlwind you can kind of see that uh, picture in the back supposedly those make a picture if you align them i don't know if i'll be able to see it if i can align it anything like that oftentimes with interpretive art i interpret nothing uh, i don't know if that's by choice or habit <laughs> it's, uh, that's one of those things people say like oh look at the formation in the rocks it looks just like this 
And I'm like, I see rocks. The same way with stars, uh, even in college when I had ge I don't know what we were doing studying astronomy in geology. But uh, one of our lab things, when the professor's not there, it's like the TA, my graduate assistant, they make you like go and map the stars. And it's like, I see no, you know, it's like, oh, you should be able to see, you know, the uh, all the constellations. And it's like, no, I see dots in the sky. <laughs> and nothing you can say or show me is going to change that. And the way I connect them is entirely different shapes. But uh, nonetheless, I don't know. We'll try to see if I can't piece them together for you. And uh, if anybody really wants to see these things, I guess like the last four, uh, Gilgron, Eruptor, Whirlwind, Trigger Happy, I can kind of do one-by-ones on them. Uh, part of me, uh, my thing is, I know a lot of people throw the boxes away and keep them in the case. I actually kind of like the box. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. I'm a big fan of it. I like the way it wraps it. But right there, you can kind of see like the elemental logo and then it's colored. Uh, so that's what I was talking about. Many people just like to use the cases, but in all honesty, I'm kind of more impressed with the boxes. The cases are cool. They look better without the box around them, obviously, if you're inclined to go that direction. But, uh, Personally, the boxes to me are cool. The good news is, uh, as much as I hate that they put these stupid stickers on, I've gotten them off all of the others just fine. And that is the case here. I think the sooner you do this, uh, the better. It's not something you want to like leave on for three years. Uh, but there we go. So they do come off. Again, they were half off. Uh, if you follow along on Twitter with me, or you remember the Skylander Club forum, you knew that and you probably cashed in. So congrats to you. But like I said, I'll open all of these up and then I will try to uh, take a look at what we can't do with all the little uh, diagrams in the background. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can match everything up. You know, actually, I think it might be smart, uh, just so I don't screw this up, we'll go ahead and uh, break these free. Uh, Whirlwind, I don't think, has ever been open, like I said, her and Trigger Happy. But you kind of got the instructions that kind of explain how to use the diorama. There's actually a setup, or the case, I should say, uh, where you can actually have these in place. You can see down in the box, kind of, there's like a plastic piece that mirrors this top end that's clipped on. Uh, that is to keep that planted, uh, and it does a very good job of it. This right here, you can't see the names. They're covered up by the box name. That's epic. Uh, that is etched in there. That's why people like it. But uh, right here, you've kind of got this push button. Here on the back side, you can kind of see uh, her picture. It's like hot air balloons and a windmill, uh, and then some sheep in the background. So I'll go ahead and release that, and let me just show you with her, since we've never done it. Uh, we will pop that button and slide that there is actually some tape there that i don't take off where you get into an issue is if you actually pull the figure out of this plastic uh there's actually a way that you connect it uh you can use the pieces here there's kind of like a little tab that kind of comes into play but uh, inside you actually have the stat card and the sticker sheet they're held in place nicely and the directions although i don't go by those the stats as you might have guessed are pretty pretty ridiculous again if you want to see this with the four i haven't done let me know i may do it anyway i don't know but uh, the figure itself out of the packaging uh, it's pretty bad game cool especially if you are an original fan of ssa but what we want to do here is simply pull all of these out so that's what i'm going to go about doing now so this is our air piece i'll try to do that for each one kind of the big reveal and then we will take it from there all right so we've kind of got these things out i have not tried to put them together again this is going to be the air backdrop if you will you got the uh, windmill as a prominent feature uh, you've got the hot air balloons off in the distance you've got some sheep in the foreground uh, so we will set it down obviously it's conjoined with elite whirlwind earth element elite teraphin you've got kind of your uh, stone golem push block over there you've got some uh, quartz crystals prism break could break and again kind of an earthy uh, scene at the bottom, fire elements. Obviously, Elite Eruptor, who we just picked up. It's got volcanoes going off in the uh, foreground and background. Uh, very nice kind of like proximal eruption from his upgrade chain. Life element from Elite Stealth Elf. Pretty just serene. Uh, kind of got a lot of greens, maybe some uh, emerald or something over there. Some sky islands in the distance. Magic element is actually pretty cool when you actually get it out and take a look at it. You just think, yeah, oh, what's going on? That is actually a floating book. You've kind of got your elemental stones like you'd have going into an elemental gated area. Uh, so we will set it down. Tech element, or actually... 
we did not take tech out uh, on dead elements uh, of course came with elite chop shop there it is uh, pretty cool little uh you know grave sequence you see a lot of that stuff throughout ssa all the way up in trap team water element from gilgrunt uh, this is reminiscent of some of the scenes you've probably seen i'm trying i think there was one of these in swap force an area like this actually but uh, just kind of like a water elemental bonus area where you'd have coins and probably a treasure chest or hat uh, at some point as you navigate your way around Tech one is obviously still with trigger happy, so we got to pull it out. But uh, right here, this is the case without the background. You've got Elite Whirlwind here again. I left this on just because it's kind of easier for me to do that. If you want just the back to come out, press that button. The case tilts forward, and you can kind of slide it out. Uh, Earth Element, I actually used Terrafin number two, uh, so we won't take a look at that. Uh, Fire Element, again, you can actually appreciate the detail they put into Eruptor. Uh, he looks amazing. I don't know what it is with like the ready orange color, but I mean that thing just really, really pops. Uh, so there he is. Life element, of course, with Stealth Elf. You've got your life element garb down there. There's the name. Again, there's her figure. Again, without the backdrop. Magic element, Elite Spyro, of course. Uh, right there's your magic element logo. There's Spyro. Uh, he is probably the most difficult if you just had these all thrown in with some SSA characters. The one that would be the least likely to stand out, probably uh, Spyro, aside from the gold base. But the magic element has a gold base, just not glittery gold like that. Uh, trigger happy, there's the tech one. So I'll showcase how I get those out. But what I do is just press this button, slide it. I uh, tilt that forward a little bit. If you can weasel that out, of course this would be one that gives me trouble. Uh, if that starts sliding, which it does, then you can just weasel it out, shut the case, and you're back in business. So, tech element backdrop looks like this. It's got the gears, the coins. Maybe that's what lines up with air. I don't know. I wasn't thinking air and earth lined up. <laughs> but, uh, right here is Elite Chop Chop. Again, he looks really nice when you get him out of the packaging. But uh, there's his 360 for you. And then last but certainly not least, it is Gilgrunt, the only man with the Series 4 pose. So there he is. Uh, you can kind of pick up on things there. Again, the water uh, base has got the gold color. Again, this really looks nice with the dark blue. But we will set all that down. And we've got to figure out if these really actually connect. And I think, okay. Haha, -ha, the mystery is starting to go together. So... Air and Tech released together, correct? Uh, Whirlwind and Trigger Happy, they were our third set of releases. This is going to go side by side, I can tell, because that's the only thing that looks right. So, I may actually have to clear those guys off of the pool table and then piece these together. Uh, fire and Water. You know what? On the edge of the water, if you look really closely, you see like something that looks like a fiery deal. And so that's about all I could think. Uh, it doesn't really flow incredibly well, but I think it must go together. Uh, magic and da -da -da, Undead would be together. And that actually is the case here as well. It's just barely, barely, barely. You can see at the bottom you start to fade into some dirt or some dead colored grass. And then you've got that same tree that just withers instantaneously. So apparently they coincided these by releases. That means, of course, uh, Terrafin and Stealth Elves should match up. And let's see here. We've got no clue uh, where this would connect, but I assume they do somewhere. I'm not quite exactly sure. I don't know. I'll have to work on that. But what I'll do, I'll pull all these cases off and we'll try to see if we can't maybe like string eight together. Or four and four. I don't exactly know how it's supposed to go. But I heard rumors it was a thing, so we're going to see if it is. And uh, stay tuned. We will hopefully be able to piece it together. Well, we did it. Uh, it took a little bit of time, but I finally think I pieced this thing together. Where I was having issues is what transitioned into magic. And I was having it at the end of water, and I was like, nah, I don't really see anything there. And I thought, well, what else could it be? Because it transitions perfectly into undead. And then at the end of Undead, there was that fence post, and I thought, wait, Air has a fence post. So, uh, the order that these go, I'm going to bring the camera down so you can take a look at these a little bit better here in just a second. Magic, Undead, which again, that would be Elite Spiral, Elite Chop Chop, so that chronologically aligns. Uh, and then we've got a jump to Air, 
Elite Whirlwind Tech, Elite Trigger Happy. And then right here we take a jump, we have got Elite Stealth Elf's Life Backdrop, we've got Elite Terrafin's Earth Backdrop, and then lastly we have the most recent releases, Elite Eruptor's Fire and obviously Elite Gilgrunt's Water. So, if you think, wait, those don't match up at all, this guy's crazy, nope, I'm gonna prove it to you. So, we're gonna hop off of the pool table, I will move my tripod over, <laughs> and here we go. Right here, man, that's a bad glare, isn't it? Alright, so obviously the magic element, we've got nothing on this side aside from a 3DS portal for those of you that care. But it's got the story scroll, you've got the magic balloon there, you've got a, you know, the books, you've got the enchanted books, everything along those lines. And then right here, that tree coincides perfectly with the undead tree. You also have that same rock in the picture, so very cool there. Right here in the undead scene, you think, man, there's nothing to link up. If you note, there's that fence post. And now when we slide over into the life, or I'm sorry, the air uh, backdrop, you're actually going to see the windmill, and it ties in perfectly. You see the sheep, and right there is a rogue gear. When you obviously think, okay, gear would be tech element, you line that up, that is correct. And so, to recap, the first four, you've got magic, undead, air, and tech. Right here, the transition, you can see some leaves on the edge of the tech logo, or the tech backdrop, if you will. Tall grass down in the bottom, so you slide life into place. Obviously, that looks like an ideal match. You come over this way. This one, you have to use a little bit of imagination, but if you note, all these transitions, you know, you kind of had the dead grass, you've got the fence post, and then transition to live grass, gears, uh, and then you've kind of got like the tall grass connecting. What you have at the bottom corner of life is sort of, I don't know if you can see that very well, there's like the mushrooms and you've got some white flowers. There is a stray white flower here on the earth element, so we're going to line it up right there. Obviously it looks like the path, there's also that small, small, small piece of dirt right there on the corner of life that obviously matches up with earth now if you come in here to earth you're gonna see we start to have the rock clods and everything and then if you look at our fire card from elite eruptor you see that same earthen pattern with some stones so that is going to match up perfectly there and then lastly you've got the fire element the volcano everything going on you note right here in this beautiful serene water temple You've got what looks to be like some ashes, some volcanic uh, lava flowing in, and if you line it up, it is. So, there you go. I will take some pictures of this. I don't know if I can do it here on the pool table, but somewhere I will line these things up and we will uh, stick it up on my site, the Skylander Club Forum. And, of course, I'll have it on Twitter for you as well. But just to recap, these are the backgrounds from all of the eight elites uh, for Skylanders Trap Team. In order, if you want to recreate this, uh, somehow you could, like, get this framed or something. I don't know. Some of you may just refuse to open these. And, obviously, now I've done you a service. For those of you that did not know, now you know. Uh, I'd heard the rumor, I think, way back before the elites were even a thing, uh, when they were just like speculated. It was like, yeah, there's going to be this thing that will connect. <laughs> and uh, apparently they really do. So, uh, again, magic, undead, air, tech, life, earth, fire, and water. So, very cool deal. Again, magic and undead came out together air and tech came together earth and life together fire and water together so it all pans out quite nicely and it makes this nice really really cool uh panoramic deal if you will of skyland so now that i've got it in place if you just kind of like picture yourself standing in the middle and scanning the horizon that's something you could actually imagine you know seeing in the distance uh if you will so Pretty cool deal. Again, if you want to see like standalone semi unboxings of Eruptor and Gilgrunt, Trigger Happy Whirlwind, let me know. I'll do that for you. I'll just kind of, I'm not going to break the plastic down. I've kind of decided I want to keep them actually in the box, but obviously I'm not afraid to open them up and enjoy them as they're intended to be used. So uh, that said, again, this is just kind of like bonus content, something a lot of people probably were completely unaware of, something some of you. Uh, 
might have heard and forgotten and uh, something I don't know if anyone else has even taken the time to actually see if it was true but I can confirm that it is and this is the layout that they go I'm pretty confident this would have to be correct so I'll get some pictures for you be sure to look out for those uh, again skylinerclub.com it's the forum check it out if you like it sign up we would love to have you join us one of weasom.com is my personal site you can follow me on twitter follow me on twitch where I live stream Skylanders Trap Team uh, you can like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, all that good stuff. But, like I said, I'll get some pictures for you. Here it is. This is the backdrop from each of the eight Eons Elite and Trap Team. And, as rumored, it does turn out to make a pretty sweet uh, panoramic photo. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know, did you know about this? Were you totally oblivious to it? Were you unaware? Uh, are you going to try this yourself? Or are you just going to stick to what I showed you? Keep yours sealed. And like I said, a lot of people have knocked the Elites. I think it's pretty fantastic. Uh, I will say, if you want to pick them up, be on the lookout for one of the 50% off sales. Basically two for one. And uh, that is the way to pick them up. But you can't go wrong. They look fantastic in hand. Uh, the packaging, the case, uh, the figures themselves. And of course, in-game, they actually look different too. Uh, again, Eruptor is very, very impressive. Be sure to check out those intros if you have not. But... Uh, I will complete the uh, the next upgrade batches I'll be doing for our Skylanders research. Eruptor, Gilgrunt, Trigger Happy, and Whirlwinds will be on the lookout for those. But once again, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I will catch you back here for more Skylanders Trap Team coming.